What's going on everyone? Coach Aaron here, back in another video to help you dominate a platform. Today we're gonna to go over the coaching process that I and many other coaches use for online powerlifting coaching. So come on in and let's go to the house of games. Alrighty everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. If you are new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Kamesi. I'm a powerlifting coach, athlete, referee, and meet director. So I make videos here on the channel for those groups of people. Oftentimes I get asked or I see people posting online asking more information about online powerlifting coaching. So they don't know how the online coaching works versus the in-person coaching. And they don't know what the process is like. How do they get started? How does it go on a day-to-day -day basis or weekly basis? How often do they get to communicate with their coach? And there are a number of different services out there that might give you daily communication, weekly communication, monthly communication, or just taking a template and going off on your own. But a lot of the one-on-one -on -one individualized coaching is kind of a standard method that everyone uses so I want to go over that so people can see the method that I use that will also be similar to what other coaches use or maybe some different little changes here and there as far as maybe where to find their information or how the communication is done if it's through, done through an app or email or anything like that so as always let's go on over to my computer and we'll go through the process step by step all right so step one would just be that you're a lead you're not picking a coach yet, or maybe a coach doesn't even know that you're interested in them yet. You are just out there in the world. Maybe you're doing your own lifting, your own programming. Maybe you're trying to look for different coaches. So I just call you a lead for now. And so the way you might find a coach in their services is through different things like social media or their website. So over here, I have my Instagram pulled up. If you are somehow here on my YouTube channel and you didn't come from my Instagram, then you can check out my Instagram, Coach Arian K. And oftentimes coaches will have a little link here that will have all their information on there. So you click on this little bad boy and then you get popped up with a little menu of different links. So you see the first thing I have there is a link to my coaching services. Second is my YouTube channel where you are here right now. Third, I have here a set up a free consultation. Fourth here, I have my free powerlifting programs and other information, but both of these are also part of my website, which is where the coaching services are. So if you do click on this, it'll send you directly to the coaching page of my website, or if you just know my website, powerliftingcoaching.com, then you would skip this social media section and you'd be going straight to powerliftingcoaching.com, which would send you to this homepage here. And again, when you're on the homepage, you'll see different stuff about me, testimonials, you'll see my free programs, the, the meet directing that I do. But here in our coaching is where I have my coaching tab with the different services I provide. And also you'll see these links to the sign up form. So if you've already talked to the coach or you have already talked to me through email or through Instagram and asked whatever questions you want and stuff like that, or you maybe you've done through a word of mouth, you talked to another client, then you can always hit the sign up form and sign up. But I always recommend to people asking questions. And so you can set up a free consultation, even if you have maybe asked a few questions through Instagram or asked about my website or prices, something that's helpful to do a free consultation. Here I have it set up for a little 30 minute block. So you can pick what 30 minute block you want and be able to communicate either through just voice or also through video. So I've been doing some Skype calls. This way you can ask more questions about, hey, what's the programming like? what kind of style to implement, what do you think my weaknesses are, tell them what competitions you have coming up, what goals you have, and even just figuring out each other's personality, seeing if you're a good fit, that kinds of stuff. And so that way you go through that process a little bit before jumping in and then you jump in with a coach and figure out, okay, this isn't what I signed up for, I don't like this kind of programming, um, maybe you don't agree on the methodology, that kinds of stuff. And so you can try and get that out of the way. So I recommend to people, please, Sign up for the free consultation. You don't have to use the full 30 minutes. You can use 15 minutes if you want, but at least you can ask some questions, see if the coach is willing to invest some free time into talking to you and answering your questions, figuring out what your goals are, seeing if you're a good fit, and then you can go and do the sign up form. All right, so then the next step in the process, we're obviously being whatever the coach's sign up form is, is clicking on it and going ahead and filling it out. 
preferably with a little bit of time before when you want to start. You don't want to fill out the form on Sunday and tell them you want to start up on Monday. But it's going to be hard to go through all the steps and actually design the program based on your individual needs and time for you to start. There have been some times where there have been some emergency situations and I'll get at least one or two sessions out to the lifter and then be able to build the rest of the block. But obviously it's beneficial to try and give the coach five, seven, maybe even 10 days time when you fill out the form so they can prepare everything. So then you go and you fill out the form. Mine just has you know information about you, which of our squats and science coaches you want to work with or if you don't have a preference, when you would like to start, different information about your competition maxes, front squat max, overhead press max, how you do your squats, whether it's high bar, or low bar, whether you do conventional or sumo. We also have our emails here so you can send your lifting videos, anything that's recent or anything that's heavy from like a competition. So we can review it all, see what kind of technical issues there are, if you're hitting stuff to competition standards, stuff about your training history, injury history, all that kinds of stuff, scheduling restrictions so you can design the number of days and which days you train based on what you have as far as your availability throughout the week, all that kind of information. So once you send this and you submit it, I get the notification that someone has filled out our Google form and I can go and review it, see which coach it is for, contact the coach, let them know, hey Shane or hey Joe, you have someone who's signed up for your coaching or if it is for me, then obviously I know. And then from there, that's where we'll send the invoice to you so that you can pay for however much of the coaching you sign up for and then design the program for you. Currently for all our new clients and that we've been transitioning our older clients is we have a new Google Sheet and new training file that we use but it has a number of different tabs in there as far as like just basic information about the company information about the athlete their current training block their overall schedule and different resources we have in there so what i like to do when i first share that file with lifter and they're first starting up with me is do a video review kind of like this and i go through the actual training file so i go through in a video and show them what the different tabs are what they're there for what the training is like why they have a certain number of sets and reps, whether they have a prescribed weight, whether they have an RPE, different notes on how to execute a certain lift, if it's like a pause deadlift or a closer grip bench, that kinds of stuff. And that way, when you're first starting up, you get this little video that explains everything to you to get your first week started. I typically do four week training blocks, but the most important thing is obviously the previous week, since I like to adjust the future weeks based on that previous week. So when you first start, we don't have a previous week, we just have previous data of what training you've done, and I tend to be more conservative on that first week. But then that becomes the importance of the communication between you, the lifter, and me or whoever it is, the coach, because you want to communicate how that first week went, what was easy, what was difficult, was there any pain, were you able to get all the sets in, and any training footage that you have. It's important to video your lifts and send your lifts to the coach so that they can see things from different angles that you film from and see if there's any technical issues that need to be improved upon, or they can also see how good you are at rating RPE or whether it's heavy for you or if it's easy for you. All right, so when you finish that week of training, whether it's the first week or any other week, what you do is then you send a weekly update email. And I know a lot of coaches do the same thing and that's what I do is kind of a normal method is you send your weekly update email, again, communicating with your coach of how everything went. You let me know whether squats felt good, bench felt good, Della felt good, any kind of pain, those videos, everything like that. And then that's when I receive all your information. I review it, I critique the videos you sent over and break down whatever issues there are or if things are looking good. And then I adjust the upcoming weeks. That way if week one was easier than I expected, then I can increase weeks two, three, and four. Or if we're on week three, we increase week four, whatever it is. And on the flip side, if we are deeper into training and maybe there's a bad week where maybe you didn't sleep as well, or you have exams coming up and the training is not going as well, then always we can adjust the future weeks down so that you don't fail lifts or get injured or anything like that to be able to get some work in throughout those more stressful weeks and then be able to increase again. So not only is the programming individualized to you and your specific needs based on what you put on the signup form, what your goals are that you discuss on the free consultation, all that kind of stuff, but the training is constantly being adjusted up or down based on how you're performing in the previous weeks. So I always tell my lifters when I send them their training block, whether it's the initial one or even later ones, is 
don't worry so much about weeks two, three, and four. People like to look ahead and see what numbers are hitting. They're like, oh, that's all I'm hitting. And it's like, no, that's more of a conservative number that I put in there. But then based on how the weeks leading up go, then we can always adjust those numbers. So maybe they don't like the number for week three or week four that they're hitting for like a top single, but that kind of maybe hopefully motivates them so that if they perform well in weeks one and two, then we can bump those up to numbers that maybe they find more acceptable. All right, so hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an idea into how the coaching works as far as you going and finding the information for me or any other coach through your social media or website or word of mouth, maybe setting up a free consultation or at least emailing them, asking them different questions to see whether you agree with them on their methodology, whether they know your goals, whether you're a good fit, whether they have space for you, all that kind of stuff. Then you get the initial training block with some information of how to get started and how the file is designed. You go and you do your training weeks and when you do your weeks, you take videos of whatever you can and remember any information or add notes into the training file of whatever you can from your training. That way you can send the weekly update email at the end of the week, letting me know how everything went, sending those videos, and that's how I can review everything you sent, critique the training videos for you, and then adjust any of the upcoming training weeks to match how you are performing. And if you want to see a little bit of my style of how I do my programming, as you can always go to that free stuff section and check out the free programs that I have on there. Some of them are older, some of them are newer, so you can see different styles I have from maybe a few years ago to maybe last year or this year, different types of frequency, and you can always watch the videos I have here. I have my playlist for the free programs that you can look at where I break everything down and go more in depth into why I did certain things or how you can adjust it for you to give you an idea of, of how I program and whether you agree with it and whether it would be a good fit or maybe it's a style you don't like and you want to find another coach. But if you like this video, give it a like. You can share the video with a friend who's maybe looking for a coach to start up with. You can subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. And as always, you can comment below with any topics you'd like for me to discuss here on this channel. I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you next time.